What's up guys, War here. So today we are doing our very first vault after the brand new update that just went live literally about 20 minutes ago. So I'm gonna be doing a tier 38, a vault of the copper. We have zero Zolt, uh, Zoltan's warding. And we're gonna go through and do the entire dungeon start to finish. And we're gonna talk about some of the update changes. We got a video on that. Please go check that out if you haven't seen all the updates. But the biggest one that we're testing in this dungeon is Zoltan's Warding. When we get to it, you're going to be able to spend... Oop. Oh, God. Let's not die. You're going to be able to spend your Pearls of Warding, and you're going to be able to use them to purchase our Zoltan Wardings, okay? It used to be three per, but now it is ten per. Per, um... Oh my god, what is it? Yeah, 10. You're getting 10 wardings per pearl now instead of three. So I'm gonna do my best. I'm just gonna kind of slide through this and we're just gonna talk about some of the changes that have been made to not only the pets, but you know, the vault itself, and then just the runes and kind of all this really cool things. Uh we we went over all the patch notes and kind of just talked about you know the big changes so the wardings got changed the the tuning stones they updated all of those so we're getting more of those now they're increasing uh the amount of xp that it's taking to or i should say lowering lowering the amount of xp that you need to level up your tuning stones uh or the whatever the other stones are called but it's easier to level them up now we're going to be able to get more of them as we're doing these vaults, we're doing the um, killing the uh, wardens, all these things. So I'm in here trying to test this stuff out, and we're just going to kind of see what really happens with all of this. So um, let me turn on my, my other eyes. Ba bam. So yeah, we're in here. So this is the big change. So we're going to go. It used to say exchange one pearl. Oop. Come on, guys. I'm trying to do this for the video. It used to say one for three charges. Now it is ten. So I don't have an exact table for this, and this is something we talked about during my live streams, is that at least in the early ones from tiers one to five, the chests at the end were one, the free one, and then ten. It would cost ten, or excuse me, four to open up the bigger chest. So what I'm gonna do is, is I have a few here. I'm just gonna do two exchange to get 20. And then, wait, a Herodric Boon measures your agility. Avoid hazards to unlock the Ward Woven Chess. So we're gonna go through and I'm just gonna kind of blast through this. Now, a big change also came to the traps where every 1.5 seconds that you're doing these, if you get hit by a trap, it's only gonna take one Zoltan Wardings away instead of Three. Hold on, I just saw a son of... Where is this guy? I just saw somebody here. Oh, there he is. The son of Malthus. Oh, and he just killed me. He just pummeled me into oblivion. Okay. Well, you guys got to see that. I wasn't expecting that. That's going to be in the video. That sucks. Let's go back into the gateway here. We're going to kill this dude. I hope he doesn't act like the butcher. I've actually never fought him inside here before. So I'm actually... Oh, okay. So he serves just like the butcher does. He shows up, you get to fight him, and if he kills you, he goes away. And if not, if you can kill him, you get a lot of rewards. So you guys did get to see that real quick. They did buff the son of Malgus or Malfs, and uh, he offers much more rewards, but he is a little bit harder. I wasn't expecting him to be there. I was kind of unprepared for that, but yeah. So now let's try to cross here. Just kind of cross over. You can kind of just blitz through this now. Is what you can kind of do. Kill these guys. It really sucks. That would have been great to kill him for the video. But oh well. He's It's dead and gone now. I was not paying attention. I wasn't expecting him just to smash me in the face with his, <laughs> with his hammer. All right, we're just gonna blitz through here. Uh, yep, we're going straight. Let's not get hit. Again, guys, the traps are still relatively easy to kind of dodge, but now it's gonna be more important to have all these wardings at the end. I think that's gonna be really important. 
Okay. I hate shock lance. I hate it. It's it's not that it's like that bad. It's just super annoying. Yeah, but we're going to blast through here, man. I think we're going to have a pretty easy time just kind of blasting through these traps. The changes that they have made, at least reading them on paper, guys, seemed a lot better. A lot better. They buffed. They really want us to be able to use the uh, the pets to their quote-unquote full potential. And I don't know what that is. They say that it's stronger from the patch notes. I'm really curious because up until this point, I haven't been really using the pet a whole lot. I haven't really been caring about doing getting the runes. I haven't been caring about any of that. So now that we... Ooh, ooh, ooh. I almost messed up. Can we grab the key? Grab the key. Oh, I lost one. Lost one. That's all right. That's okay. So we lost one. Oop. All right. Now we got to get back. We go turn the sucker in. We're going to get onto the boss room. So still, these dungeons are pretty quick, and I feel like with the increase now, it's going to really encourage players to be able to do this. Or not, not, not that they couldn't do this, but they would want to do this. Again, with these trap rooms, I think even with the increase, you're still going to do something like I'm doing right now, and you're just going to kind of run to a corner and just wait for the boss to spawn. You're going to survive the, the 30 seconds or whatever it is. And you're just going to kill them all. If you have a melee build, this is probably going to be a little bit harder for you. But um, overall, it's really not too bad, especially with the increases in the wardings now. You can probably dodge a lot of the traps fairly easy. Oh, no, no, don't die. Don't die. They're trying to poison me, dude. And then once we survive, we just kill the last bit. And see, even having 19, I can just, like, roll through this, and I really don't have to care about the traps really at all. So we got a bonus trap here. We got a greater, greater radiance chest. Which is pretty sweet. And then when you come in here, see it's four charges. We got the 10 charges, the major now, because we have even more. So as the tiers go higher, guys, you're going to be able to get more of these. Now, when it does come down to the end here, it's not just you get to open everything, right? <clears throat> you have 19. I can only use 19. So this one costs 10. This one's four and that's one. So that would be 15. So let's say I had less than 15. I would not be able to open those, right? Like I wouldn't be able to open all three if I had less, but let's check the greater radiant chest first. <clears throat> they did do a increase in the tuning stones being dropped as well as rare items. You're guaranteed a legendary item and then a 35% chance for a bonus one. And you can see we got Pearls of the Warding back. We're going to come in here. I'm going to pop the big boy. See what we get. You can see all the legendaries that we got. That is kind of crazy. We got one tuning stone, two, three. Three tuning stones out of this one. That is pretty good. And a bunch of legendaries, which is fantastic. This will really encourage players to do this to level these things up. Now, we did get an update. It is about a 3% chance to get a unique, the unique tuning or tuning stones or whichever ones they are. Here goes another two. So, like, the one that's, like, the mini Shaco, that is a 3% chance that we get that. All right. We got two more. One more tuning stone as we go down in this. And then our main one, which finishes the dungeon, we again got another tuning stone. So it looks like we got about, what, 10 or more? And this was a tier 38. So if you're able to do them even higher, you're probably going to be just blitzing through this. Super easy to do. You can see that my, my Zoltan's wardings go down. So these do matter when you're going through here. And then, of course, you still get your XP, which is fantastic. So all in all, I got to say, just doing this one dungeon, yeah, we died against the Son of Malvis, which is... Uh, Kind of like the butcher event which is i think is a really cool just added surprise in there you could tell see that i wasn't even paying attention i wasn't really you know i was like wait he's in here like wait what i've never fought him in here 
completely unprepared and uh, ready to just kind of break that down. Uh, let me see. What, what is this quest I have? Let me get rid of that. Now, for the hearts, guys, we're still looking for the hearts. I do want to just add this in there. I did get some questions about this. Um, the Zoltan Cool's hearts, search the vaults for the journals. They can only be in the special chest, the ward woven chest. They can only spawn in that. It is RNG. I don't know what the drop per rate percentage is, but they can only spawn in those. That's all I know about that so far. That's why I'm still stuck on 205. I know a lot of people have been asking about that, but that is in there. So just so everybody knows. But yeah, guys, uh, so as far as the vaults themselves and the increase to the Zoltan's warding, as well as the increased tuning, increased tuning stones and governing stones that spawn here, I think this is really, really good. It's a big buff. You can see a lot of these things are really leveling up. And you can see that they did reduce this, right? Look, it's only 30 points to go to 70 now to get this thing, or 70, to rank seven, to get this to, you know, rank seven out of 10. This used to be a lot more. Each rune or protecting rune that I get gives me plus 10 to this goal. So I only need to find two more and this is level seven. So these should level up a lot faster now. Again, with the uniques, it's about a 3% drop rate. But yeah, so all in all, guys, I think just the vaults themselves, this is much better than I would say probably running um, Nightmare Dungeons. But if you prefer those, go ahead. Like the video, comment down below, guys. Let me know, guys, what you guys think about the increased buff from the patch on the vaults themselves in Diablo 4. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. Uh, and as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.